In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I did this beautiful, realistic portrait in charcoal pencil. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michelle Morius and I make art tutorials that are fun, easy, and accessible for everyone. I'm doing this beautiful portrait of Priyanka Chopra in charcoal pencil. Now, I'm going to be using a few tools that are key in this drawing. Um, you can use charcoal in two ways. You can use um, a negative method, which is um, you put down some charcoal and then you can pick it up with an eraser, a kneaded eraser, stick eraser, or electric eraser. Or you can use the additive method where you add. We're going to be using both today. So you'll see me go in with my blending stump. I'm putting down some charcoal and then I'm using the blending stump to push the residual charcoal that's on that stump to uh, make other values on this portrait. Charcoal works a bit different than graphite. Um, with graphite, you have different levels of hardness and softness of the pencils. So you have your H pencils, which are your hardest lead and your lightest values. And then you have all the way up to your eight, nine Bs, which are your blackest or your softest lead pencils. Unlike that, the charcoal, I have a soft, a medium, and a hard charcoal pencil. So I'm gonna be using mostly the soft charcoal because the way that I like to work is I do like to put some product down and then I like to push it around with my tools. So I'm being using a brush, I'm using blending stumps, I'm using a sponge, and I'm using an artist chamois cloth. All of these things I'm using to blend and manipulate the charcoal to give me a really smooth skin finish and give me some good highlights and good um, shadows. So you'll see I'm using mostly my tools. I'm using um, my pencil only to put down the initial charcoal and then I'm using all my tools and kind of manipulating and pushing around all this stuff to get it to look the way I want it to look. Um, we're going to keep building up and we're going to keep getting darker and darker in our shadowy areas and you'll see I'll go in with my electric eraser and I'm going to pick out a whole bunch of highlights. There's going to be a really dramatic light coming from the right side of the screen and that is going to be pulled out with that electric eraser and kneaded eraser to give her a really nice glow on her face. So we're just going to keep adding and I just keep going in and I'll take it away and I'll add it back in again. And not everybody works this way. Um, you figure out what works for you. But I really enjoy this method and I find I get a really nice, soft, even skin tone um, by using the charcoal this way. So I'm using a sponge right now and I'm just going into the background to give me just a little bit of a base color in the background so that that highlight that I'm going to put in is going to show up really strong. I really love using graphite. Um, I've just recently started with the charcoal and I've found that this method is really effective for me. Um, it also shows up better on camera um, for you guys because when I do graphite tutorials I have a hard time with the shine of the graphite and with the charcoal you don't get that high shine that the graphite gives off. So um, I'm really enjoying working with the charcoal and you should give it a go if you haven't used it before. Um, but 
you can use a lot of the same techniques you use with graphite, such as blending and all the um, tools that I'm using, um, but give it a go. It, it really is a lovely medium. It comes together fairly quickly. This drawing took about four plus hours, maybe four hours, 20 minutes, um, which is not a lot. I have spent you know, on other portraits before, sometimes 10, 12 hours. But um, this came together really nicely. And I did step away for a little bit and I went back to it. I struggled a little bit to get the likeness down, but I think overall it, she really turned out beautiful. So at this stage in the drawing, I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the drawing and the music. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you. 